All right, so now we're going to add our push buttons. Uh, we're going to add our system push buttons in here. So we're going to come into similar to what we did before. So we're going to go to push buttons, and we can do maintain, or we can do um, both different ones. We're going to do a momentary, and we're basically going to come in here and populate that. Now, what what we want to do is we want to come in here and add some uh, some different things in here. And again, so so what we're going to do is state zero right is going to be our off button so we're going to come in here and add in to our library we're going to add an image from our library so we're going to do that like similar like we did before right we're going to launch the library come in here and we'll launch that and paste from library and we'll call that uh, we'll call that uh, red off off from from library that way we know you know where it's from and we're going to use that in there so then we got to make sure that's the right sizing so let's size that right properly All right so let's go in here and size this right get the right sizing so we can kind of get the button right and we can always again change the size of this as far as we want you know but as far as how we have that is you know we just kind of want to get that as a start stop stage you know and, and get the the borders you know you want to come in here and kind of leave your borders how do, you, how do you want them you know do you want them borders just nothing borders white uh, we'll just leave it like that see how it looks and then kind of line everything up properly all right, so you can kind of come in here and say, well, you want transparent stuff. Uh, you want to come in here and do do like that. Let's see, we got transparent, transparent, uh, back back style, back color, and then over here, this is again state zero. So state zero again. We don't want anything like this. We want patterns. Let's keep that just like that. And let's shrink this down. So, we want to actually get the button though. So that way we have the button, and then we have everything in there. Now, again, we can have this looking a lot better, and this is going to be a normally open. So that's why that's the kind of way we want to have it. And then we have the whole time right here. Now, again, raised. Uh, let's have the border. Let's have the border like that. <clears throat> that way we get the actual push button itself and then we can kind of get the sizing right and that that's really what you you kind of want to do is you want to get the sizing of everything you're doing right so now I want to come in here and state 2 which is going to be our uh, illuminated button if we have uh, you know if we actually push the stop right so um, what we want to do is, is come in here to the image again watch the library and this would be the illuminated button and then we'll copy that and then paste from library now again we'll call this the push button on and then from library so we kind of know where it's from okay we have that that gets in there that state goes in there transparent transparent everything's good here um, again just put these as white just just because we had them like that on the other one this is going to be that state right there okay so now you have that and the caption you can put uh, stop all right let's just say uh, servo stop or servo system stop see if we can get the sizing right and see how it actually comes in right here and that's some, somewhat of the problem of, of what you're having to do right here which is kind of why I wanted to show that because what you want to do is you want to not use this and just use the button all right so we just have the button illuminated now again we have the two indicators 
Yeah, but we need to have the, the actual system start, right? So what tag are we going to be looking for for the system start? So we need to go in here and come into our controls and we're going to be looking for a system start. So we have HMI system stop and start. That's basically what we're going to be looking for in the system. Really simple. Um, so let's come in here and tag this. We'll come in here and have the HMI again. We're already at the point, right? We're already at the the point right here. This is a stop push button, and the indicator is going to be a stop push button. So this is kind of easier, right? Kind of easy to throw in there. Stop push button again. And we could have copied and paste that, right? But Again, so let's get the sizing right. So let's get this sizing a little bit further down. So it looks pretty good. Now, again, so what we can do is, now this is, if we played this right now, right? Let's just save that, play it. If we hit the stop button, see it change? So that's, that's a really, really cool feature. Now, again, we don't have the label on top of it. So what we're gonna do is we can come over here and add a simple drawing and come over here and put the text up here. This is why I was saying don't it's better to do it this way. And now we can put, you know, servo system stop. And then we'll put this uh, let's I don't know, let's see what that looks like. It's a little too big, so again let's Put that down to about eight. Eight's a little, I don't know, eight's pretty good. So put that in there. And so we have the system stop now. And what we wanna do is kinda get everything together. So we'll group it together. And we'll do the same exact thing to the actual stop or to the start. So let's actually copy this and paste it because obviously it's pretty close to what we have, right? So we wanna actually align these and we'll align these to the top and then we'll change this for one and then we'll call this start. And let's get that right and populate that there. Now I may flop these around I may actually flop these around. Have the stop over or a start over here and the stop over here. And let's align, align these up a little bit better before we change them. So let's get that and get the alignment there. Okay, so now we're gonna change the actual indicators that we're using. Now that the states over here is gonna change, but we're gonna change this our tags right now. We're going to eliminate this and we're going to come up here and change our tags to the start push button. Okay, so the start push button. And while we're here, this is what I was talking about earlier. You can just copy and paste this if you want to. Or if you just want to look it up, you can. I mean, it's completely up to you. Um, so now we have that there, right? So our indicator is going to go off of there. Now we need to change our zero state. We're going to launch the library again. We're going to get our green push button, copy that, paste. Okay, so we're going to relabel it. Now, um, a lot of people, you don't, like a lot of people say you, you don't have to relabel it, and you don't. You don't have to relabel it, but I like to understand where I'm, get, where I'm getting my images from. So whenever somebody comes back later into the application and they're, they're wondering, hey, you know, where did that come from? They can easily understand like where this came from. So I can apply that now, it's gonna be the green. And again, the same thing here is we're gonna change this to the illuminated green. So we're gonna launch again and get the nice bright one. And then copy, I like the copy and paste. So um, again, and again, this is completely up to you. See, I didn't change the name of that, um, but whatever. So now that's gonna look like that. So we're gonna come back into this one and we're gonna save the state of that. Now again, this is all grouped together so we can actually, you know, kind of get these two closer together if we wanted to. But let's actually get the system running first. 
So I actually I'm actually show you the system actually running too, but um, let's actually do this. Let's actually group these together. Group these together, and let's get them more centered to the system. When I say centered, I'm looking at in between here and the gap here. Okay, so almost that's pretty close. From the just from looking at the naked eye, that's pretty close, right? So it's good here. Let's actually start this. Okay, so everything is stopped, and then we're gonna hit the start button. Everything is starting. You can actually see the servo running, right? You can see the servo running. You can see the draws. If I change the draw right here, you can change the draw. Let's actually blow this up a little bit. Let's actually stop that. Blow the screen up a little bit so you can see a lot better. I think it's going to go back to the original size anyway. So, but um, let's change the draw, and you can see the draw change right here. And then it's going to go to, let's just say one. It's going to go, just going to change the speed of this one. So I have the, the speed of the servo actually automatically updating. Uh, with a dynamic control and then each one of these is changing as well. So now if I hit the stop button System stopped right stopped and ready Starting again Easily starting back so you can see that how that works and how easily This can be you know working and 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 how to use these buttons and, and make them functional and, and just make them look really really nice in, a, in an application right now what you're probably asking yourself right now is every time we run this screen our bottom header goes our bottom footer goes away and i'm going to address that in the very next video i'm going to show you how to do that also add a little bit more flair to it so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come into the very next video and show you how to do that so as we've actually seen the servo running right now we will actually go and start working on some of the more aesthetic problems or aesthetic things to make this thing look a little bit better on the very next video. So we'll see you guys on the next one.